Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Brian Anderson here alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us from the floor. Ali, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. Now Denver's starting five. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. And it's Murray in at the point. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And to the surprise of some league observers, a number of rookies are already making huge contributions, Grant. And it's so much fun to see these young players stepping up, getting thrown right into the fire. And for good reason, when you have two or three stars eating up your salary cap, you need the guys on rookie contracts to perform. And they are. Now here's Murray. Releases. Rebounded by Green. Outside Curry. Pass to Looney. Inside, here's Thompson, and that one's good. What a strong take by Thompson. Clay's got a big frame for a guard. And with their title last season, the Warriors now with seven in franchise history. No longer tied with the Bulls. They are alone and ranked third all time. Murray, shot is good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Curry. What a tremendous game he played against the Lakers. Here's Looney, and that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Jokic. Looney grabs a miss, and the Warriors still have a long way to go to surpass the Celtics and the Lakers for total championships, each with 17. But their ambition from the top down is to do exactly that. They want to be, in their own words, the greatest organization on earth. Definitely playing the long game. Now here's Thompson. His last outing at 18 points. And the basket by Curry. This is Pete Curry shooting with real confidence off the catch. It's what helped get him going. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, Green with a block. Thompson passes to Curry. Now here's Green. Just three on the clock. It's good if it goes. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Warriors on top, up by four. And we'll be back right after this. The Nuggets. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And rebounding numbers, sometimes we overlook them, but they can have a big effect on the outcome. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. Bruce Brown is out there with Green. Then it's Smith, then it's Zignaggi, and it's Highland in at the shooting guard position. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. And that one's good. Cool. I'll tell you what, they are on fire this quarter, taking total command of this game. Wow, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body, trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. It's good on the putback. Najee's got his second bucket on the night. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. 
Nikola Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Alec. Thanks. Now a timeout called by Denver. Yeah. Entering the NBA yeah. can be a difficult challenge. And age can add to that challenge. Jonathan Kaminga was just 19 years old when he stepped onto an NBA court. Shot is good by Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Gordon's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, nice touch from the big man. Gordon just burrowing himself into the paint and going to work. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made Aaron them pay. Gordon. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Pool from long range. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. A chance at a two for one. You have to find ways to use the clock to your advantage. Oh, it's blocked by Green. When you talk about the best defensive players of this era, you have to talk about Draymond Green. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Just, like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Jokic. Count that bucket. Jokic has gotten his first basket of the night. The size, the skill, the footwork. Jokic has it all. Just a strong move. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Warriors on top, up five. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. Well, for the Warriors, Kenny, how'd you see it? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big... And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Well, Richard, as a former player yourself, what's your take on stars demanding trades and jumping around the league so much? It's tough because I've seen the other thing happen to stars. Blake Griffin re-signs with the Clippers. They show him videos of putting his jersey in the rafters, and then he's traded a year later. So I think everybody has to figure out what is best for them, but you also have to try as an individual and as a professional to fulfill your obligations. And I think trades can be someplace in the middle of them. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. That's the Warriors five. The Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Pass to Porter. Here's Caldwell Pope. And a miss there on the triple. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. And they'll get another chance. Great positioning on the putback. And it's a 10-point Warrior lead. Relentless. You will never outwork Draymond. Jokic passes to Porter. And here's Gordon looking to end the run. The putback. Here's Jokic. Oh, persistence time pays time off time. as they finally hit a shot. Jokic has got his second bucket of the night. And the Warriors call time here. And in 2022, more history made by Nikola Jokic, becoming the first player to amass 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a single season. And a new group getting ready for the Warriors. Wiseman, he's checked in for Looney. 
Green comes in for Draymond Green. Kaminga, he's checked in for Wiggins. And it's DiVincenzo in for Klay Thompson. Green. And that Jeff one's good. Green. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Down low. Here's Najee. And another basket for Denver. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Let's it go from 14. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Smith. Here's Highland. Offensive rebound. Here's Najee. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Najee's got eight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. The Nuggets have gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Highland rebounded by Green. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Smith outside over Curry. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Great shot selection right now, keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be right back after this word. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for Denver. Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Porter Jr. and Gordon at the three and the four. And it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Loses his grip, planks the lob. And the Nuggets shooting at about 34% here in this game. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. And I understand we're seeing some potent offense, but you have to put up more of a fight defensively. Shoot, sure, this defense is giving me hope. The way I look, I could sign a 10 day and put up a few buckets on this guy. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High energy plays like that one could make a big difference. Jokic, good. And now it's just a two point warrior lead. I love how Jokic is just relentless on the glass. His effort level has been special. For Denver, they've got half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Murray from outside. Offensive board. Played it in with a nice time touch time off time the window. Jokic has gotten four this quarter. Down in the paint, Jokic knows how to take charge, getting past the D and to a look. Timeout called, the Warriors. They're ahead by two. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter here. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Green comes in for Poole. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He wants all they have to give coming down the stretch. Saying, quote, it's not just the big plays. I want to see us making the little plays, too. Winning the 50-50 balls. That's the effort we need. Okay, thanks, Allie. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Murray finds some space. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. The three is up. Denver grabs the miss. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. And then Porter with the dunk. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Here's Curry. And that one off the back of the rim and in. There is no moment that is too big for Steph Curry. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. First team foul. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Oh, bangs home the three. 
and <laughs> great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Time out, time out. And he makes it. Do you stop Curry? Well, in a short answer, you can't. Nuggets. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're down by one. There's 49 seconds left in the game. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. Can you say vintage? <laughs> wow, this was a vintage performance. I mean, so much of the game is about the three ball today, but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside. I see e. ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. When it is crunch time and you've got Stephen Wardell Curry, the game plan is simple. Get him the ball. Murray passes to Jokic. It's him! And in these moments, Jokic shines bright, commanding the rock in the clutch and stepping up. Two second difference between shot and game clock. On the attack, Curry. Yeah! And tie game! Huge basket right there! Now a timeout called by Denver. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Warriors foul. Stephen Curry. Second person foul. Second team foul. Ooh, he knocks down the clutch free throw. And this team feels comfortable with Murray at the line, especially when the game is up for grabs. Now that's how you capitalize at the line. As long as they play good defense, they should have this win sealed. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They trail by two. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder, can he count it? Yes, he can. Yeah. That's how you end the quarter. The winner and the buzzer. It doesn't get any better. What a finish. It takes nerves of steel to knock down a shot like that. And so the big win by Golden State in a tight game. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Stefan, plenty of momentum swings in this game. What made the difference in the end? Because everybody was on. Uh, defensively, it was a tough night on both sides, just trying to contain and fire around and try to contest shots. But at the end of the day, we made a couple more plays, kept our composure on the stretch, and got the win. It's a beautiful thing when shots are falling. Thanks, Stefan. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everybody.